Are you ready to discuss our rules? Very good. Let us begin. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers, and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. Namely, if Amila apologizes to Borhol, and he accepts, the duel may not move forward. As for me, I will be procuring the weapons for the duel, and the materials for the preceding ceremony. Borhol as challenger reserves the right to choose the weapons, and he has chosen blades. Do you have any concerns? Hmm... I will note your concern, but know that Borhol has the final say. If that is all, we will break here and see to our duties. Before that, though, I know that this duel is foolish. I am sorry you got pulled into this. I will try and find another peaceful solution to this problem, should you be unsuccessful in convincing them to call it off. Amila has the right to deliver a genuine apology to Borhol, and stop this duel before it commences. The odds of him doing so, however, are low. The Odlum brothers, like their ancestors, are stubborn and prideful. Duels were quite common a hundred years ago, but have become more rare with each passing generation. At this point, the Odlum family is the only one that still takes part in this custom. Speak to the brothers, and inquire if there is any opportunity for a peaceful resolution. Usually, this would require Amila to apologize to Borhol. As unlikely as that would be, though, Borhol can always decline the apology, and the duel will commence. Your odds of success are infinitesimal, but tradition decrees that you make the attempt regardless. Report back to me when you have spoken with the brothers. We will discuss your secondary duty then. Salutations. We will all be lucky to see the end of the year. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? Did he now? Hmm. How magnanimous. But approval is approval, and I will gladly take it. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect Gravdrive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became... Negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. 
Serpent, help us. It is infuriating. The Council just so happens to represent the three houses under Varun's banner, who are also entrusted with various aspects of running, well, everything. Each of those houses needs to contribute something to the project, so the Council is the final stopgap. Were the Speaker here, he could bypass all of it with a wave of his hand, but... Well, you have already seen the state he's in. Indeed. All must serve. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the Houses, that may speed up the process. I appreciate that someone around here is eager to get to work. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the Serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research, when I can. These phantoms, the Vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. Yes, exactly. I am glad I am not the only one who can see that does nothing to make the loss any easier, but still. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from... somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments, and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. I do hope you are not questioning the thoroughness of my research. I assure you, they will work. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research, when I can. These phantoms, the Vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this.
have displeased the Great Serpent, so do not agitate it. Greetings. Best to keep busy, lest you lose your purpose, as well as your home. Ah, look who it is. I will not waste your time. I already know what you have come to ask. You wish to inquire if there is any possibility of me apologizing to my brother. The answer is no. The duel shall go forward as planned. Why are you so sure that I will die? I have been in plenty of scraps on the streets, and I am not some sheltered pushover like my brother. He is trying to kill me! Why should I be the one to apologize? Borhal likes to paint me as a ne'er-do-well, but what type of psychopath wants to kill their own brother? It is not fair. He should be the one begging for my forgiveness. You cannot just turn your back on family like Borhal has done to me. And now he wants to kill me. If he wins, I hope the guilt of what he has done will rot him from the inside out. And if I win, it is justice. I have made my choice. If I am to die, so be it, but I am no coward. Amila has shamed us for the final time. What is it? I need to prepare. I will do no such thing, and will feel no regrets in avenging Amila's constant dishonors. <sighs> I have given him every chance, every credit. I have begged him to turn himself around. But instead, it has been endless years of dishonor and pain. Damn him. I should have known years ago that this would be the only way things would end. There is nothing that could lead me to calling it off. An apology from Amila is worthless. He always, always falls right back into his old ways. There is no apology grand enough to make up for nearly trading your late mother's remains to fund an addiction. That is... inconceivable. It would be. If Amila weren't a habitual liar, deceiver, and cheater. As I said before, an apology from him is less than worthless. He has apologized countless times for a decade, only to continue stabbing me in the back. Do you think I wanted this to happen? I tried to stop this downward spiral countless times. It was like saving someone from drowning, only for them to leap back into the ocean. Amila refuses to be helped, and he is determined to take me and the family name down with him. Not at all. I have served my time in the military. Amila's condition made him unfit for service. He may put up a good fight, but I will surely be the victor. If that is all, you may take your leave.
Do not let Amila break you down. How did you fare? Hmm. While disappointing, I am not surprised. Those brothers are stubborn as groats. But... You may still have a chance to halt any bloodshed. Listen to me very carefully. Your final duty as a second is to prepare the ceremonial drinks that the duelist will imbibe prior to the duel. As you are preparing the drinks, you will treat each cup with this tranquilizer. Borhal and Amila will be too weak to fight after drinking this. This duel is idiotic, we both know it. It is a needless loss of life during a crisis where there is already so much death. And the victor will rue his actions for the remainder of his life. You have one final chance to stop this. Very good. Report to me when you are finished. May the Great Serpent aid us. Is everything ready? Give me the strength to do what must be done. Then it is time to begin the duel. Yes, finally. I am ready to do what must be done. The time has come. Amila, are you sufficiently prepared? I am ready. It is time. <sighs> Nothing we can do now but observe and hope for the best. To your health, brother. And may the Great Serpent have mercy on your soul, Amila. Done to me, Amila. I am affected as well, dear brother. I, I did not do this. I can hardly see you in front of me. Uh, what the hell is this? What did you do? What is this? Uh, sabotage! This duel was an asinine idea, Borhal. We put a stop to it. There is no use for needless bloodshed at times like these. We must come together. Not kill one another. You traitorous. You betray me. And then you lecture me. Oh, enough of your grousing, Borhal. Your precious duel can wait. Or are you truly so determined to kill me? Enough of your taunting. This is not over. I am counting on that. Remove yourselves. We must rest. But know that you have only delayed the inevitable. Thank the Great Serpent. 
You did it. The tranquilizer worked and you saved them both. Thank you for trusting me. What? From the tranquilizer? They will sleep a few days and be fine. I expect. They may suffer a bit, but it is a far better alternative to being stabbed to death. Nonsense. You've made the right choice. Their egos are bruised, but deep down they are both relieved. Come what may, we have narrowly avoided a bloodbath today. If they are stupid enough to try again, we will find another way to stop it. But I doubt that day will come. I have faith that the Great Serpent will open their hearts to each other. He will show them that the pain from the Tranquilizer would be dwarfed by humiliation and guilt, had the duel ended in bloodshed. Me too. I want to thank you. You trusted me and because of you, the brothers, my friends, are both alive. They are imbeciles, but better people than they seem. I am grateful for you. Please take this. It is admittedly not much compared to what you would have received if one of them had perished, but... Can you truly put a price on a human life? You are free to go. May the Great Serpent be with you. Always. You do not have approval to trade with me. Apologies, but you're not clear to purchase from me yet. This is foolish, Victor. The High Council needs access to the power grid if we hope to restore the city. Your inability to provide a legitimate excuse for denying them will only last so long. Victoria is right. I know you're angry, but you can't let personal matters interfere with what may be best for everyone. Personal matters? This is a Ministry of State matter, and I will handle it as I see fit. He is a traitor. He turned his back not only on his family, but on our people's entire belief system. The fact that he still breathes is a stain upon the House Vethal name. You would doom us all with your pride. I will do as I please as head of this house. If you are not a member of House Vethal, you do not belong here. Another High Council lackey come begging? I told Lovic no more! Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is Anasco's chosen. You recall Lovic sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help, especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely, which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. My nephew Varric has left, and until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. You oversimplify. You would think us incapable of such a simple task. You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. What would my son, my successor, the heir to House Berthal, have to do with house politics? 
even someone with basic political knowledge should realize his importance. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator, are you well practiced in discretion? I have heard reports on Ryujin from the Ministry of Conjunction. This news gives me hope. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. Essentially, he has abandoned his post. And not only did he turn his back on his house, but the Great Serpent as well. He is a traitor and must be dealt with as such. Victor, surely you don't mean it. He does, Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignance tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric. As if our house has not suffered enough loss already. Because he let his weakness get the better of him. He sees himself as a prisoner in this life. He runs from a duty that others would spend their lives coveting. He is my son. He does not get to choose. He was born to inherit my title, and he knows the punishment for refusing to honor it. My son denounced the very faith that defines Varun's society. He dared to blame Anasco for the state of Dazra. Dared to call our faith in the Great Serpent blind. It is heresy and punishable by death. If only my sister and husband had your sensibility. I do not wish Vedic dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. The shame Vedic brought upon this house is immeasurable. It stains the very foundation. I will not act until this house is in order and its members are properly aligned with the Great Serpent. I will not have it known that I declared my own son a heretic and allowed him to escape our grasp. This knowledge weakens the Ministry of State's authority, something we cannot risk at this time. This is why my interest turned to a third party, someone outside of the noble houses, but we have yet to determine someone trustworthy enough. Until now. Our duty as wardens is to keep the populace tasked and loyal. All must serve, both the Great Serpent and House Varun. No exceptions. Those who refuse must be cleansed to stop the spread of corruption. Exceptions show weakness. And we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. We have done the same for less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the Ministry's authority on the actions of my own son, even if he is my chosen heir. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Vedic and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother is acting under impulse, not reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Varric has a signet ring with House Vethal's family crest. Bring it to me as proof of death. Only then will I grant you access to the power grid. See that you get it done. 
I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Vedic's associates there may know where he went, but keep in mind, anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. See to it you do. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance, getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. Remain ever vigilant. Heresy must be exposed. I don't need any free drinks from you. This railing is taken. And no, I'm not looking for company. Varric Vethal. And why should I know anything about the heir apparent? I'm nobody. Ask him yourself, if you find him. Oh, sure. I'm just fine. Hundreds of people are presumed dead. One best friend ran out on me. The other's just drinking himself to death. So yeah, couldn't be better. He does indeed. Well, he used to. Varric. One day we're inseparable. And the next... I've searched all of Dazra for him. But he's gone. Couldn't even leave a note. That means he either doesn't want to be found, or... Well, I prefer not to think about it. So, what if I did? Like I said, he doesn't want to be found. I'm so tired. It's possible I missed something, but nothing comes to mind. Great Serpent. Let him be okay. Yeah, and at a time like this. You think so? All right, fine. But I'm only telling you this because I want him to be safe. I never found out where he is. But I know someone who might. His name is Tain Salavea. Hard to say right now, but Tain's a regular. If you stay a bit, you can't miss him. Just promise me you'll let me know if you find Varric. Thank you. Do you Great seem to be doing well? Us so that we I'll might drink to that. stronger, better. We lost a lot of good people to the Vortex. Bar seems much emptier. Quieter. Is some cosa? This is what I have. Hope things start looking up soon around here. Hey, aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Impressive.
impressive. Since these people really aren't into strangers. Especially in times like these. I'm an outsider myself. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. Yeah, it's something, isn't it? I've been doting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then these people lose half their city and you show up and suddenly it's divine intervention. Yep, that's how I feel most days since I got stuck here. Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? Beric Vathal, huh? That's no small name around here. Well, I guess that depends, Vindicator. Who wants to know? Oh, sure. You just show up out of the blue and suddenly want to know where to find House Vathal's number one son? And I know he wasn't lost to whatever ate up half of Dazra. Plenty of people have seen him since. Although, let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent, and I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. So if you're feeling generous, maybe we can help each other out. Nice to see we operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the highlands. Just not sure where, but I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word, and we're off to the races. After you. Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker, and fingers crossed, it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate, should be the fastest route. If it is a bottle of Gaza you need, Harold's rest. Behave yourself. There's already enough trouble in Dazra to fall down. Great Serpent, keep you. Mother has been busy lately, so I do not see her very often.
Proceed.
good news is my heart didn't give out. All my years and all the planets I've been on, never gonna get used to those things. Terror, what? Eh, I think I'll pass. At least I don't see a body around here, so I hope that means Varric's alive. You find anything? Injured? Hope he doesn't bleed out by the time we find him. Well, what's next? Varric must have fled in a hurry since his tracker's still here. So guess the rest is up to us. Sounds like a plan. And hopefully that injury slows him down enough for us to catch up. Let's head back down and see what we can find. And by we, I mean you.
That's far enough, Strain. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? Well, you won't find him here. This isn't exactly the type of place where house members frequent. I can understand that, but I can't help you. The only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We're isolated, and that's the way we like it. <sighs> All right, fine. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen, yes, I know quite well. Never mind my partner, they're just overly cautious. As I said before, I've never seen Verek Pathal. We keep to ourselves, there's no reason for a path to cross. But... We did aid an injured young man a few days ago. That's gotta be Verek. It's too coincidental. It must have been him. He had a pretty bad injury, but we were able to patch him up. He didn't want to stick around, though. Once he felt better, we sent him north. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. He claimed he lost everything in the incident that swallowed half of Dazra. He wanted to start a new life. We even gave him two of our own groats to get started. You're welcome, and safe travels. If you find him, give him our regards. If you are in need of supplies, I suggest speaking to the nearby humans.
It's been a minute since I stretched the old legs. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? Sounds like it's a waiting game then. It seems I have uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Dane, put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your friend. I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's orders, allow me to plead my case. <laughs> I'm glad someone does for once. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. I was born House Vithal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent. But I want none of it. That's not the life anyone wants. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and the fear of what it would mean for House Vithal is all he cares about. You understand. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tane understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah. Guess you got the whole scoop now. I was hoping you'd see it that way. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Beric running off thinking I could just grab him and go. I was also out all the credits he was going to pay me. That's where you came in. I figured, why not two for the price of one? So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. I hope now is to make the best of it here. I suppose I owe you that much. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Anasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done Nothing for us. You must be one of the enlightened I've heard about. I hope you can see why I want to walk away from all this. To start my own life. I ask that you give me that chance. Anything. Name it. My ring. Vashti gave it to me. It's all I have left of her since the Cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this ring. Just wiped her from existence. True. It's as if she's looking out for me. One last time. Take it. I'll find solace in the fact that the ring will remain with my family. And now I hope we are done here. Thank you for seeing reason. I owe you both my life and freedom. Now that's over with. I'm gonna hang back here, talk to Varric a bit. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done.
I'm trying to keep strong. Something is amiss. Let us speak. You're back. What news do you bring? What have you done, Varric? This blood is on your hands, Victor. I hope you remember this. And I also told you to spare him. No, it was Varric's choice. He knew the consequences. You were his father. You were supposed to protect him. You think you are doing what is right out of some blind dedication, but you are destroying this house. You already lost one child. You had to murder the other. Victoria! I will not hear any more of this. It is done. Leave us. Oh, I am leaving to mourn my nephew whose memory you disgrace with your very presence. Victoria! Leave her be, Luther. The Great Serpent will guide her. She will understand in time and emerge stronger for it. Indeed it does. Now, only one matter remains to discuss. Did you find anyone who aided my son in his treachery? Good. I also have heard nothing of my son's disappearance, so I appreciate your discretion in this matter. You restored order to this house and have my gratitude. Here, the access core that Ekris needs to connect to the power grid now go. I have much to arrange. I don't blame you for what happened. The very sight of you offends me. I wish only to be rid of you. Great serpent, steal me. My heart beats with anticipation, and yet I fear to ask. The great serpent is truly merciful. Where is he? I must see him. I... I understand. I always knew that Victor would drive him away. Varric often spoke to me of his own dreams and aspirations. And they never did include house politics. I think even Victor knew he was unhappy. But his pride only allowed him to see a boy that would follow in his footsteps. I should be happy for him for that alone. As much as I want to see his face, it is enough to know that Varric is alive and safe. You have brought me peace. Thank you, Vindicator.
Yes? You do not understand. I saw a Nasco, took measure of his burden. Ah, did Victor finally relinquish the access code? Excellent. We'll finally have the resources to fully charge the morning device. Now, let's hope Houses Kadik and Dulkef are as forthcoming. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, Anasco descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has forsaken us? I do no such thing. The Great Serpent's reply is not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, your works will not succeed. It sounds like you agree with me. And yet, only one is the foundation for the other. But the proof is not in our words. It is in the vision. Anasco's presence still persists in this world. And he seeks our aid. Yeah, fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times. And the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. Vindicator, speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand, so that we may continue the work of saving this city. 